Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Welcome to this latest edition of the Travelling Brush Dippers. Thank you for joining us. And we are at Lived Liveden. We're not sure whether it's Liveden or Liveden. Liveden. But it's um, an incredible, very strange manor house and what you you think would be a ruin and it isn't is it no it's it's called the new build they keep on talking about the new build and we're thinking what are you on about we couldn't work it no, out we could we? No. and then suddenly somebody explained to us that it they started to build it in the 1600s, 1600s. And because the son was involved in the gunpowder plot, it all never got completed. The family's, um, obviously everything changed for the family and Queen Elizabeth threw a strop. And as a consequence, Stop the, the yeah, yeah, <laughs> that rough must have done this, can yes. you imagine? And, and as a consequence, the family had to just abandon the whole thing. So when they've been talking about the new build, you what? It's 400 year old new build. And, you began, yeah. <laughs> yes. and it's spelt, of course, in the old English way, so that confused us no end. So Indeed. it's B I E L D. Yeah. Anyway, very interesting place because you've got the, this lovely manor house here. With this magnificent. I'm not going to bang on the door because somebody door. will probably open yeah. it. <laughs> um, and we'll explain more about the inside and, and what that's all about. But if you come with us, there's loads out here. We've got a moat, we've got mounds, we've got the new the new build, and a fabulous orchard. Yes. So come we, with us. We scrumpied some yeah, pears. Yeah, we did. Come with us and taste some pears, and come and join us while we do a bit of painting. See you in a minute. We had a look at the map and went for our walk up through the grounds and we came across the mounds and apparently these were built so that the view of the moated gardens beyond was hidden and you had to climb the mounds to see the view which was rather special and of course I had to climb them and this is an aerial shot showing a moated garden. Next to the moated garden there is the orchard where we did actually scrumpy a couple of pears and an apple. Um, but the motor garden itself is just beautiful. There's uh, views across, there's reflections, and when we were there, the colours of the trees were just stunning. So we really enjoyed having our little walk around the, the motor garden until we got to where we were going to stop and paint. So here we are, sat down. We're going to do a bit of painting. I have the lovely Sharon's bottom. Oh, nice. Because of the angle I met. Oh, gee. <laughs> That'll fill the whole frame then. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, my camera's gone wonky. I'm conscious. <laughs> Only the camera that's wonky. Uh, I, I, probably not. <laughs> what a beautiful little spot. It's a National Trust property. I know, I'm just doing a very quick little piece. What are you going to work in, in, in your sketchbook? Well, I'm in the sketchbook and 
I just want to um, get the basics down. And I've taken lots of photographs so that if it all goes peak tong, it's not the end of the world and I can um, go back home and work on it at home. So that would be alright. It will. But uh, I just want to get the feel of the place really, that's, that's the point. And I'm going to omit quite a few bits and pieces that I don't want, that uh, I don't feel that I'll have time for. Yep. I'm just sketching to start off with pencil, but I think I might come in with this one with a touch of pen um, and then a little touch of water if we get time. Uh, just some splashes of watercolour just to give me okay. an idea. Yes, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice idea, isn't it? The ruin is fabulous and I'm going to take, when we're done, I'm going to go over there and get some more close-up yeah. photographs of it from different angles, but I really don't want to waste time because I don't think we're going to get it. No, neither do I, sadly. The weather's coming in from behind us and um, you can see the colour of the clouds behind um, and we're just aware that uh, if that lot dumps we're in trouble. Yes. Because <laughs> we're a good walk from the, the cafe and the guard bar. I think we're about three what did quarters she, of a yeah, mile. Yeah, she said, didn't she? Was, well, she said half yeah. a mile to those hills yes. and we walked, we past, walked them. past them. So, watch this space. Yes. Trees are just such a fabulous colour at the minute, aren't they? Yes, and we're extremely lucky because, of course, although it's November, it's unseasonably mild, isn't it? In fact, it's got quite warm. Walking and I, up yes, here, I'm, I'm too warm even sitting here, to be honest. But I'm, I'm not going to take time to take the coat off. No, I really, really don't want to um, push my luck. There's two trees that go way out. Somebody loves me. Somebody <laughs> loves you, yes. Yeah, I quite like those trees just mm. disappearing out of out of view. They're poor old ash trees, aren't they? And I, if you're um, not of this country, if you uh, are elsewhere in the world. Um, we have a serious problem in England at the moment with ash dieback and they believe that uh, eventually we will probably land up losing most of our ash trees and only those that are, um, what's the word, immune to it Which will is only survive. 20% or something, isn't it? So maybe we'll end up with a stronger strain at the yes, end of it. But, yeah. um, so it's Covid for ash trees, isn't it? Yes, yeah, definitely. Really, sadly. But it's, it's a sad sight because looking around the countryside, I noticed on the way here um, there were lots of trees down in the lanes, weren't there, where yeah. they've obviously had strong winds where we are at the moment and I think that quite a bit have been blown over and damaged and um, the lanes were full of tree debris in the verges. Yes, definitely. So... Uh, so we've been chatting to some of the lovely ladies that work in the um, cafe here and, and the building and run the place and we found out we were looking at, on the way in here we were looking at the the roadside and there was lots of branches and stumps and, and dead things apparently last week there was a little mini tornado came whirling through here and how many trees did they say they lost 11 trees wow they lost some of their poplar trees i don't know whether you can see them in the distance behind us there's a row That's in the distance yeah. of poplar trees and um, it just rushed through the estate, didn't it? Yes, yeah, and all up the roads here, there was trees down, the roads were closed around yeah. here. They lost tiles off the roof, so a little mini And the power. Yes. And they lost the power for five hours and as a consequence, on the, that was on the Sunday and on the Monday they had to close, didn't yes. they? They closed because it just wasn't safe for people to come in. So they've had a bit of a wild time here, so us getting a little bit breezy sitting painting and a little <laughs> bit of rain thrown at us seems quite inconsequential. Uh, it's your, my, my teeth, teeth don't work. Who have you loaned those from then? You. <laughs> <laughs> yes, seem a little inconsequential. That's a big word. <laughs>
I think I might need more cake if I'm going to say words like that. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you a bit later. See you in a bit. I'm just paying attention to these windows because I'm a monster when it comes to this kind of... Um... <laughs> Perspective isn't my best subject. So when your teachers tell you in art class that you're going to do perspective and your heart sinks, you're not the only one. <laughs> Probably Matthew saying, I'm home. We've had a lovely couple of days because we've been up here in Barnwell in, um, where did we, where did we decide we were? East. What, what county are we in? Was it Nottinghamshire? Nottinghamshire. Was it, in the end? We had such a discussion about where we were, and I'm still not sure. <laughs> And um, we've had a lovely few days with uh, five of us staying here, five artists. So uh, yesterday for our walk, it was stop, start, stop, start, stop, start all the way, wasn't it? Yeah. Because we all wanted photographs of everything and I can't reach my... It's not fine. No, it's fine. I must pick it up. Uh, 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 look, see, all artists stick their tongues out when they're painting. <laughs> so this is me sticking my tongue out because I've dropped my rubber. That's what it. Like. Yeah, now I've taken the sneaky thing. I've got this fabulous pen. Those of you who know me know my food pen. Oh yeah. Um, but what I've done is I've recharged the cartridges with quink. So I've just got a bottle of quink and I syringed it into the cartridges and refilled them. So how much I, mess did that make? No. Go on, how much did you have on your fingers? Well, my, uh, no, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> some. But it means I can do this with quink, but using my pen, which is... Some little twitterers around, aren't they? Mm. <laughs> yeah, well, we're the two, two of the biggest twits. <laughs> <laughs> In November, decided to come and paint outside. Yeah. Oh gosh! Now then, aha! Uh -huh. Friends who know me will know that I'm a real grump sometimes when it comes to painting outside because I don't like the cold, I don't like the wet, so I'm a bit of a misery. But, but we put up with them. The thing is, a lot of it depends on the lovely people you're with, doesn't it? <laughs> and I find that with friends, it makes it easy. Thank you. It makes it easy. I thought you were going to say then that you're a grump because of who you're out with today. <laughs> <laughs> well, that has yet to remain to be seen, doesn't it? <laughs> you were perfectly happy until you realised it was me. <laughs> You got the grunt. Oh dear. <laughs> Lovely that you can laugh, don't you think? Yes. And it's that laughter of just inane commentary yeah. that we've Silly missed. Silly nonsense. I, well, I think we've missed. It's, you know, it's not quite the same on Zoom, is it? No. No, you wouldn't have that kind of giggle on Zoom, would you? I don't, I, I, we I don't did. Know. We, we but... have, but yeah, it's not quite the same. Because I don't know if you're aware, everybody, but w during the months of lockdown, um, the six of us from Artist Demo Days, and you must have heard us talk about Artist Demo Days, um, group of six so. artists, and uh, we used to call each other every single week on Zoom so that we could just support each other, because we all found it extremely difficult, you know, to... Even although a lot of us have got husbands and family at home, um, to be isolated when you're used to being out with people like yourselves at demos. It's your artistic community, isn't yes, it? Yes. Yeah. Gosh, I missed that. I did miss that. Yeah, I agree. I found that. We're both sitting here quite um, carefully because uh, we're on a, uh, an <laughs> incline. And the other side of this mound is the moat. And uh, neither of us really want to land up in the moat this afternoon. Um, so just being a little bit careful. And both of us will. If we, if we go over sideways, 
<laughs> if you well, I think I'm more in danger because if you go over to your right hand side, you'll knock me. Into I will. The boat. I will. You'll be all right, but I'll be in the <laughs> boat. we'll be fishing her out. What's that saying? I'm all right, Jack. You'll have a soft landing. <laughs> I love the way with these trees. Changing the subject, um, the trees that we're in the foreground. Mm -hmm. All the branches curve down yes. and, and roll. Yes. It's fab. Well, again, that's this peculiar thing about ash trees, isn't it? Yeah. They're beautiful. So when you were talking about your water pen, what, what breed of water pen is, is yours? My one is a Derwent. Oh, same here, yeah. We do love Derwent. I do like Derwent. They've been there for a long time, and there's a reason for that, isn't there? Yes. You know, if you're quality, you, you last. Yeah. No, they've been been great and their products are just amazing so oh I can see some hikers in the distance that haven't all disappeared so we're not totally alone then no that couple do what that lady in her oh, yellow, bright yellow jacket can I get a pick of her before she disappears love her yellow sou'wester. Now that's the sort of thing you can drop back in if you finish this off yes. in the studio or, yeah. or did a studio piece afterwards. Oh gosh, what were you going to say I interrupted you? Um, so rudely. So, so very rudely. <laughs> I was just going to say how glorious is that peachy colour and the bright reds and oranges in that tree to the left of the um, ruin. I'm just oh yes. Now. Actually, let me take a photo of that while you're talking about it. It's, uh, oh, it's raining. Oh, it's going to rain. Dumb, it's going to rain. It is, I think we're kind of five minutes from the end here, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, Bagsy a cup of tea in the cafe with, or coffee with them. Um, I'm going to, if you don't mind, do what you've done and uh, go for... Some I, don't mind. As well. I, I could do with adding a little bit more. I think I might add my sky in, in the cafe because yeah. I'm at the point where I've done it all apart from the sky. The other problem is if you do it now, you can't carry it back because it's going to be wet. Yeah. That red kite has been the soundtrack to this day, hasn't it? Say again? The red kite has been the soundtrack yes. to today. Yes. It's lovely, isn't it? We're so lucky to have them. I was thrilled to bits when they moved down to our neck of the woods because you know they've slowly moved yeah. and spread out from the centre of the country, haven't they? Yes. And uh, originally it was the Midlands that had them, and uh, slowly, slowly they've they've moved, and uh, I was so chuffed. Probably do with ooh, a touch of colour in there. Yes, to make it clear that, you know, it's water, really. Yeah. But I can feel more rain. Oh, gosh, yes. And at this point, we decided to pack up and make a run for it because it was getting really rather damp and misly. So this is the end result of what we both did on the day. We weren't there for a very long time. We were just sat chatting and we painted for a little while. And I thought you might like to just see a few more of the pictures we took of the day. We just had a really nice mooch around the site. It was delightful. And we headed back down to the main building, the main manor house. And we had a cup of tea and some cake, so I'll show you that in just a second. So we headed back down to the main manor house and found ourselves a little spot in the lovely cafe. And we had a little wander around the house as well, the old manor house. It was quite interesting. It had been a, a private residence 
and the National Trust took it on again not that many years ago. So we had a lovely little look around um, to see you know, how it had been, been left and maintained by them. So, we have been chased in by the showers. It's not a heavy shower, but it's mizzle coming in waves across the hillside. So we've got chased in. And really unfortunately, we've had to come for coffee and cake in this fabulous National Trust cafe. And all their cakes are baked here on site. So we just had to taste one. Um, and we're having a lovely day. I hope you've enjoyed the painting. We will see you very, very soon. So the next time you can join us too, well, come and dip into our conversation. See you soon. Bye. photographs of everything and I can't reach my uh, uh. Not fine. No, it's fine. I must pick it up. Uh, 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 uh. Look, see, all artists stick their tongues out when they're painting. <laughs> so this is me sticking my tongue out because I've dropped my rubber. Now thankfully these with the ink that I'm using here, the uh, brush pen that I'm using has got a one-way valve so the ink isn't going up into my reservoir which means I can just squeeze it shake it and it's a clean brush <laughs> it wouldn't be a clean shower you, you don't want ink in your reservoir do you <laughs> <laughs> god you're going to smack me off on this <laughs> oh dear you're terrible but I do love you <laughs> you can't take me anywhere can you back to apologise yes Oh dear. And then that only once. <laughs> My nose is trying to get away again. What is? My nose is trying to get away again. Your nose is devil. Oh god. Love this trio <laughs> to the And here we have another video of Sharon it's blowing her nose. <laughs> 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 Instead of the travelling brush dipper, dippers, can <laughs> be the travelling stuff sniffers? Yes. Yeah. Oh gosh. What were you going to say? I interrupted you. Um, so rudely. So, so very rudely. <laughs> I was just going to say.